Hello everyone, so welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a DIY glitter ombre nail. For the sake of the video I'm going to skip all the basic manicure steps and I will leave a link in the description for my video on doing a basic manicure if you would like to know how to do that. So again for the sake of time and the video I'm going to skip all those steps and go straight into the colors. So first things first I'm going to be applying my base coat. And we're just going to let that dry. Okay, now that that is dry, we're going to go in with our first color. So but you can use you can use any color that you want, like literally any color. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to use this pink color. Again, you can literally use any color that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the first layer for the color. As you see, this is a very thin one, so I'm definitely going to be doing two coats of this color. around the first coat dry. All right, now we're ready for our second coat. And we're going to let that dry. All right, now here's where it gets fun. We're going to take our glitter color, which is this Wet n Wild Fergie. I like this one for us because it's really thin, so it goes on really well and blends really well. So here's where we're gonna get creative. So I took, I'm going to take this cotton round and these little eye, eyeshadow sponges that I usually just throw away. I decided to keep one and do use it for this. When you do an ombre, it's best to use a sponge so you can really dab it in there and it blends out really well this way. So what we're going to do is take about a few drops out of this eyeshadow. We're going to, or this is an eyeshadow, this is a nail polish. I'm just going to take, put a, let a few drops go onto this cotton round. That should be good for now. I'm going to take the clean end of this cotton eyeshadow applicator and I'm just going to dab it in just a little bit and I'm going to start at my cuticle. Don't worry if it gets on your skin, you can always, you're always clean that up later. So we're just going to dab it onto our cuticle. Once we, and once you think you have a fair amount on, you're just going to slowly bring it down. Wipe off any excess if you have any excess. And then just ombre it out just a, a little bit. And there you have it. Now I'm going to do the rest of them. You can always add any more silver, sparkle, whatever nail polish to the cotton as necessary. And if you mess up or go and go a little too far, too thick on the ends, you can always take your base color and add a little more of that just to kind of start over and fix any mistakes. So 
So just dabbing that color all the way through. Focusing most of it on the cuticle. And we're just using any, we're just using the excess that's on the sponge to blend it out into that ombre. I'm going to add just a, one more drop of this nail polish. And do the last nail. And there you have it. Now you have your ombre. So now we're just going to clean up the edges. So to clean up the edges, we're going to take a cotton round and one of these um, orange wood sticks. And I'm just going to roll it to pick up some of the cotton. You don't need too much. And then I'm just going to flatten it out. Next, you're going to dip the cotton in some nail polish remover. And we're just going to use this to clean up our edges. When you feel that it's gotten a little too dirty, you can always peel that off and add a little more new cotton and re-dip it, which is what I'm going to do now. really getting any excess nail polish. Oh, look at that, we've got some on our skin. Just cleaning up all the edges. And once you're satisfied with all your edges, we're going to go ahead and apply the top coat. And there you go. That is how you can do your own glitter ombre nails. And again, you can use any colors that you choose. And if you want to know how to do the basic manicure steps like filing and cleaning up your cuticles, I will link that into the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, leave it a like. That would be great. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.